Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Timeless or Trash, the show where we decide whether a film should be etched in stone and preserved in perfection for all time, or blasted into the sun with the rest of Earth's garbage. I'm your host today, Christian, and joining me as usual is... Ben. Dan. And James. Today, uh, we are closing off our trilogy of your picks from the Twitter poll we did way back whenever. <laughs> and we're doing the 1986 Transformers the movie. I'm very excited to watch this film. This is like a, a big film. This was like a big film from my childhood. I love Transformers. I watched all the series. I collected the toys. I was a huge Transformers fan and I still to this day love this film but i'm more interested to see what, what you guys think and i'll start with ben this is my first film in time so trash that i have not seen really yeah it's the first one i've not seen so i'm very excited this is all very new i have no experience with transformers other than the michael bay movies so you could say actually i have no experience with actual <laughs> transformers let's go go on dan i mean i think the transformers were pretty cool um back when in their cartoon days which is where this film is from right so you know i'm kind of looking forward to it on 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 that level i suppose i don't really know what to expect so finally james what is your experience with transformers i'm very much in the same sort of boat as ben i've seen none of the originals never seen this film i've only seen a couple of the michael bay ones and they're fine they give you exactly what you expect. There are a couple hours of people shouting shit and stuff exploding. The, the Transformers community have accepted that they are a thing. They accept the good aspects of those films. However, they mainly dwell on the cartoons. Just to give uh, the people watching a little bit of background, uh, the film uh, is actually based after two series of the TV show and then there is a further two series after the film. Basically, Transformers fighting on Cybertron, crash land on Earth, awake after four million years, carry on fighting for Earth's energy to fund their war, essentially, back on their planet. And this film starts with both of them having bases back on their home planet of Cybertron and on Earth. Yes, I did watch 68 episodes <laughs> of Transformers <laughs> G1, so that I was fully well-versed in this. The commitment to the channel. <laughs> I would respect it. it. Uh, I, wa I watched 68 episodes over two days, might I add. I, I got very little sleep. The that episodes is... are longer than I remember. That is Too insane. much commitment to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not required. Without further ado, let's get this started. Let's roll out. So there we have it. We are back and... Not remotely in different clothes. You're thinking you you you, you don't see anything. It's this definitely is not... all done in one recording. We've yeah, it was not definitely had done any in issues, a single recording. Had to piss about fixing it all. The reason why we're all wearing different clothes is because Christian, his internet broke, <laughs> and we had to abandon the recording and come back to it the following night. So we had some technical difficulties, but we're back now. We finished the film. Um, so let's get into the post talk who would like to start i would start but i'm really not entirely sure what i've just watched what a glorious film that was, <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> it was it was nearly nonsensical but also just brilliant and it had a great an amazing tone and like awesome plot S true stakes <laughs> i was invested no anyone else does anyone agree no i don't really agree i don't either really if I'm what? Honest. What do you? They killed. I don't agree. Oh, they and killed James don't like. Either. They killed the, the two lead characters off. I, I didn't know where this. No, was going. I I get that that and like that's it. Like that's good of them. I respect they did that. And like you mentioned, Christian, that this isn't a thing that just got undone immediately. Like Optimus Prime stayed dead for at least a while. Yeah, yeah. But that film just it felt like a lot of fighting for fighting sake like it was just like a lot of pew pew explosions couldn't really tell what was going on or why it was colorful like it's a kids film like you know yeah, yeah. there's, there's yeah. no point critiquing it too hardly and getting too into it like it is very obviously aimed for kids and that's fine maybe we should stop um watching kids films <laughs> <laughs> it was an action adrenaline thrill ride 
the Decepticons were not letting up on the Autobots. They were trying to wipe them out once and for all. So they, they, they just kept going. Hard hit, we're going to fight, we're going to fight. It was sick. <laughs> Why don't the Decepticons just chill? That's my question. <laughs> like, they need to just calm down. Because, yeah, like, mean, really... Down. It's quite tragic. They don't seem to have any real meaning or purpose or anything. That that's kind of what the Autobots are fighting for, to be honest. You know, the Autobots are like the ge generally most of them are peace loving and would like the Decepticons to stop ravaging the planet with war and murdering people for literally no reason other than they won't respect Megatron's authority to lead. But even even his own team don't respect his authority to lead. There's all the stuff with Starscream continually undermining him at any opportunity i love the bit when like starscreen just mocks and then boots the dead body <laughs> yeah. of uh, megatron how do you feel mighty megatron yeah. it was awesome <laughs> just we got we got to talk about megatron so megatron uh gets possessed by a planet-sized transformer called, what's he called? Unicron? Unicron. Right? And then it comes out that, you know, Megatron's got some issues about being out of control, not being the master of his own destiny, which I pointed out was ironic because he does turn into a, a gun that someone else <laughs> fires, and that's his thing. <laughs> so stupid. The fact that Unicron had to eat a planet and two moons throughout that film um, to build up enough energon to transform once, it just seems like a bit of a design flaw that you'd have to destroy three planets in order to be able to transform. Like, how, how does he eat now? Like, he's transformed, he doesn't have the mouth anymore. How does he eat to transform back? I mean, he's dead, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Spoilers. That's a good question. <laughs> One thing I will say that I loved about this film is how it sounds. And that's both the music, it's got an incredible soundtrack, and the sound design's really good. Like, the sound effects of them transforming, a lot of the voices are really, like, creative and pretty cool. I did like that. I disagree, James, actually. <gasps> Well, you know, at certain points, I think we did point out that it almost felt like the sound was unfinished in places. Like there were there were sound effects missing. The music, while it was kind of like quite memorable and just daft and <laughs> just, basically just eighties hair metal and completely yeah. inappropriate at points. And we can't show any of it. <laughs> we can't show any of it, no, unfortunately. Yeah, it just was a bit. It just was a bit strange when they were having these, you know, fights to the death. And we had some crazy, like, Bon Jovi <laughs> ripoff in the background. It was amazing. How, <laughs> how dare you call Stan Bush a Bon Jovi ripoff? Oh, was it Stan Bush? Oh, in that case, you know. Because like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the thing is, like, it's, it's a film called Transformers, so you've got to have some really good transforming in them. And I, I, maybe it's because I started with the Bay films, and in the first one, there is good design to when they transform like it's done well it sounds good and you actually get the sense of these robots turning into cars i get that it's a long time ago and i get that it's a cartoon but i feel like something's just lost where you just go rip, 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 and then just it molds into one another thing it's just a bit like mm, okay fair enough it's like the animators just went ah, i can't be bothered <laughs> i'll just i'll just be blah, 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 blah. there we go that's <laughs> all <laughs> clock off at five i'll tell you what though at least it is better than the Bay films by the third or fourth one, where you had half of them transforming off screen. Yes. A waste um, of your time. It's no, a film I... called Transformers. Show them transforming. My, my favorite one was uh, when they recreate Megatron in the fourth uh, Bay film, but you have him like turn into a swarm of nanobots it's and so form lazy. into a truck. And yeah. it's like, how, how have, why have you gotten lazy for the fourth film? That's a good question. It was just so charming. I just <laughs> loved it. And it's just got this relentless soundtrack that kind of yeah. doesn't fit at all in these fight scenes, but then it totally what makes it great. You've got like the Decepticons that all can fly, but some are in jets anyway. And it's just <laughs> like, what is going on? I didn't find it particularly charming, really. I just thought, plot wise, I mean, it wasn't quite as bad as Shark Boy and Lava Girl. That it was, was marginally sure. better. It was marginally better. How dare yeah, you like... call it marginally better? <laughs> well, it was way better. I agree with James. Every time I every time I looked up, like I checked in what was going on with the film. Like it was just a robot fight, fighting at a robot and then transforming into a plane or a car and then fighting at a robot or a again. Dinosaur, and then you'd have or a frog. Yeah. Or... The issue this film has in standing up is 
everyone sees Transformers the movie and thinks of it being a cinema thing like the Michael Bay thing and this is like a made for TV movie it has the it still has the cuts to black in where there was advert breaks it, it really does go like balls to the wall like and then that you know we're gonna do like two minutes of story and then we're gonna have a 15 minute robot fight and you're like why are they having this robot fight it's like cause, you know the decepticons turned up and it's like yeah but why did they turn up and they're like because because they're evil just go with it because they did. <laughs> shut up and buy our toys the premise of transformers is it the tran the autobots are versus the decepticons and it boy did it deliver like uh, thank god there was barely any human characters in this it's, yes. it's the total yeah, opposite of what the new godzilla films are i tell you what of all the things i did expect to be in this film a dance sequence was not one of them that <laughs> yes, really that came out of left field why are they having a rave meanwhile what's, what's ultra magnus's body is just like, sprawling. <laughs> <laughs> in my case it might be the nostalgia talking but i do agree with ben that this is like a charming film it's just like the the way everything is drawn and the, the way it's paced, it's just like paced. It's absolutely it, it yeah. It's, it's so paced. quickly paced. It, it's Pop chaotic. The there was yeah. one scene in the entire film. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, it was chaos. I mean, I've always felt that like early Transformers is carried by its voice acting, even for the robots like the the sort of uh, junk robots wheelie the little orange one that had <laughs> ear grating voices that you could barely understand they at least put effort into making each transformer sound sound unique. wave sounds awesome yeah. it's just a yeah. shame that they all look exactly the same like mm. apart from some slight variation in colors there were so many times like one of them came on screen i was like i have no idea who you are i have nothing but contempt for this court i don't even know who you are Little did we know the true protagonist, Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime, was the real <laughs> star of the show. I was a Great big star. fan of Hot Rod, like lifting up the uh, Matrix, activating it, and then just immediately dropping it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's about to oh. light their darkest hour. Oh, he dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I'll say, I'll say this for the film. It had a character with gun nipples, and what more do you really want from your <laughs> children's <laughs> films? <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah, he, well, he did. He did, James. He did. He had guns for nipples. I was a big fan of how this film raised the stakes because, I, I, again, I mentioned that with the original series, no one ever died. Pretty big hitters as well. To kill off Optimus Prime in your big movie, in your first act, pretty big. To kind of kill Megatron and change him and the voice actor to Leonard Nimoy is pretty big. And to kill off Starscream, the best character in your film. <laughs> These are ballsy moves from the filmmakers. Well, you know, the thing is, everyone already had an Optimus Prime toy, didn't they? Everyone already had Me Megatron toy. Boy. Make so way for the new ones. Yeah. I have one note here, and I genuinely can't even remember what it's in relation to. It just says Megatron is low key a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> let's get to the the crux, you know. That let's get to the question that we always like to answer: Is this timeless or is it trash? I'm gonna go to Danny first. Well, I enjoyed watching this with you guys. I had a laugh. You know, it had its moments. Um, I liked the animation. The soundtrack was certainly interesting and added to the experience, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's just a toy advert for kids, isn't it really? So, I'm going to go with trash. Sorry, Christian. <laughs> he is actually I'm genuinely not. pissed off. I'm very upset. Well, I'll, 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 I'll go to Ben. It's trash. <laughs> Dan's insane. It was a it was a plot I could not predict. It was twists and turns left, right, centre. I didn't know which character was who was who from scene to scene. I was I loved it. The side plot with Hot Rod and Cup was great. I loved it. It's absolutely timeless. I will go next. I obviously I'm going to call this timeless. This was a big film for me growing up. I own three different copies of this film <laughs> to this day. Um, I I just think it's, uh, I, like Ben said, it's very charming, it's wacky, it's over the top. And even though it is a glorified toy advert, it's the best glorified toy <laughs> advert. So now let's close it off and go to James. Look, it's... <sighs> I can see why kids enjoy this, and it's got its moments, 
and it's got its elements, but it it just feels like a lot of action for the sake of action. And when all you have is action, it can get quite boring. But yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have to call this film trash. Oh my God. And there we have it. Our right. first ever hung timeless or trash. Is it a tie? It is a tie. tie. It's an exact two, two timeless. Two. Work two that trash. one out in the edit, James. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Now I think we, we just have to leave it up to the comment section. I guess so, yeah. I guess they'll have to, you, all of you will have to go off and watch Transformers the movie now if you've not already seen it and uh, let us know in the comments below whether you think it's timeless or trash. Are you a fun person like me and Christian? Or are you really cynical like uh, James and Dan? Are you, do you want to have fun? If you do, watch something else. How dare you. Like next week's episode. Clip! <laughs> If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you're always notified. Don't forget to hit the like button as well, you know, recommend us uh, to friends, share this video in places, follow our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, <coughs> we're always posting on there. We have a podcast on Spotify and Apple yeah, Podcasts. Oh yeah, we're on, made it, boys. We're on, we're on Spotify go. now, we're on Apple Music, get on it, follow us on everything. We're always posting. We always want to hear from you guys. So, yes. Let's roll out, boys. <laughs>